Howdy y'all, Yeehaw here. I just wanted to share with you guys some of my thoughts and opinions on the recent news surrounding Halo. I'm not going to get too deep into this stuff. I feel like most of us have already read the news by now. But this is just mainly on how it could affect the franchise going forward. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, 3 3 have lost around 95 employees. Joe Staten has gone back to Microsoft Publishing. I'm confident that the team handling the live service of Infinite will still be able to do so. For the next couple of years, I believe we might have a situation similar to Halo the Master Chief Collection, and hopefully we're able to get a new roadmap with the release of Season 3 that is still set to release in March. This is probably the most worried I've been about Halo, but thankfully, D43 came out with a statement. Halo and Master Chief are here to stay. D43 is going to keep making Halo games, and I like that they throw in epic stories. I like that that line is in there. It gives me, um hope that they aren't completely abandoning story content. Now, what basis do I have to say they're abandoning story content, you may ask? Well, if you read the Bloomberg article by um, Jason Schreier, it pretty much says that story content wasn't being worked on, that, you know, they were prototyping things in Unreal instead of making new missions and things. And another, I think it was another article he mentions that campaign DLC was like never in the cards. It didn't get past discussion. So that to me kind of says they didn't have an interest in pursuing story content at all. And um, that the live service multiplayer was going to be their bread and butter. If you want the quote here, let me go ahead and pull this up on screen. Quote, developers were making prototypes on the Unreal Engine and pitching ideas for new Halo games rather than working on new missions for Halo Infinite. Many of these developers were laid off this month and the company isn't actively working on new story content, the people said, end quote. Yeah, that's pretty much confirmation that they weren't going to do story content for Infinite. It wasn't in the cards and uh, they were busy prototyping in Unreal, which is what I'm going to talk about next. The switch to the Unreal Engine. Apparently, as per that article which I'll link in the video description, Halo is going to be switching to Unreal Engine. And the first of these projects is going to be Tatanka, which was rumored to be a Battle Royale mode, but in this Jason Schreier article here, it says it may evolve in different directions, it's going to be its own video game. So, hopefully that video game is going to have campaign, that would ease my worries. But if not, then maybe we should prepare for a Halo Battle Royale standalone release. I don't know. I, I want to wait for confirmation from 343 from Microsoft. I don't think we're going to get like 100% confirmation, but I would like some kind of information before I go around saying this is true or that is true or this is for certain. But I will say that Jason Schreier is a pretty credible source when it comes to these things. I'm more likely to believe this is true than false, if that makes sense. My only other concern is Halo not feeling like Halo in the Unreal Engine. And that's not to say there aren't benefits for Unreal, right? If the developers are able to make content more efficiently, more effectively, at a better pace, then yes, I could definitely see that why they'd want to switch to Unreal. We'll just have to wait and see. It's one of those things where you really can't do much until you see it, until you play it. So I'm going to wait for more info to come out before I make a longer video, which is why this one is so short. Hope you guys take care of yourselves. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on Halo potentially switching to Unreal down in the comments below. Let me know if you have any other video suggestions. I'm open to them as well. Take care, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Yeehaw, over and out.